My name is Matteo Falcone. My wife, my son, and myself live on a small farm in the hill country of Corsica. At least we did live there until we were betrayed by our own blood relatives. You see, the Falcones are a large clan in this part of the country. Over there to the west is my brother, Gianetto's farm. And adjoining his farm is the Rastano's place. Lorna Rastano and her husband are the only outsiders in this part of the country. And the trouble which has haunted my days and nights started at her home. The countryside was still with the deathly stillness that creeps over the valleys in the early part of the morning. Lorna opened her kitchen door and called to her husband. Rastano! Rastano! Oh, where is that man? Rastano! Yes, Rostano was dead. Lorna found him sprawled across the matting on the floor with a peculiarly carved Corsican knife thrust into his heart. And the blood that poured from that wound caused more blood to spill in the hills of Corsica. Lorna's cries soon aroused the curiosity of the neighbors. And it was Teodore Gamba, my fifth cousin on my wife's side, who was sheriff in this part of the country, who was called in to investigate Rostano's untimely end. We at home knew nothing of the tragedy that had occurred that morning. My wife, Marie, my son, Fortunato, and myself were seated at the breakfast table, quietly eating. Fortunato was chattering as usual. Is the world round, Father? Of course the world is round, Fortunato. Pass the bread, Matteo. Here you are, Maria. If the world is round, why don't we slide off of it? Matteo, do not encourage him with that nonsense. That is not nonsense, Maria. It is a good question, son. You have not given me a good answer, Father. You see, Matteo, you see, his insolent. He takes after your brother, Gianetto. Oh, who could that be at this hour of the morning? Can't folks eat their breakfast? Stop complaining, Maria. Complaints are lost on the ears of God. Good morning, Cousin Maria. Good morning, Cousin Gamba. What brings you to this part of the country at this hour? I thought a sheriff's duties kept him in town. You thought wrong, Maria. Hello, Matteo. Hello, Gamba. Come in. Won't you share a cup of milk with us? I'd be honored, Matteo. Hello, son. Good morning, Cousin Gamba. Yeah, what new ideas are you hatching in that mind of yours today? Ideas? I've no ideas, cousin. Hmm. That son of yours, Matteo, he thinks of one thing and one thing only. Money. A great deal of money. Money is necessary. Fortunato is right, Gamba. But honor comes first, as it does with all the Falcones. How about that, Fortunato? What comes first with you, money or honor? Your question is foolish, Cousin Gamba. <laughs> Good answer, son. Good answer. Here is your milk, Gamba. One would think milk was found in the ground the way you pass it around, Matteo. One would think I was a poor provider the way you complain in front of guests, Maria. You are not here on a fool's errand, Gamba. What brings you at this hour of the morning? Fool's errand? Indeed, no. I'm here on a rather sad mission. Your brother, Giannetto, is wanted for murder. Giannetto? Oh, it's impossible, Gamba. Impossible. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, it does seem impossible that Giannetto could be capable of killing anybody. But the authorities believe he killed his neighbor, Rostano. And Rostano's wife, Lorna, reported to thee. I do not believe it, Gamba. Believe it or not, as you will. But I have on me a warrant to kill Giannetto on sight. Without a trial, Gamba? He was given 24 hours to surrender himself to a court. And he's refused. But why? I'd... Oh, there is a mistake of some sort. Mistake, eh? No, oh, Matteo, no mistake. Janetto has escaped into the hills. He's hiding somewhere near here. And that spells guilt to me. Oh, Janetto, Janetto near here. He'll get us all into trouble. Not necessarily, Cousin Gamba. If you see him, it is your duty to turn him over to the authorities. Duty, Cousin Gamba? I thought the duty of every Falcone lay to his kin, not to the authorities. Hush, Fortunato. Some of the old Corsican customs are outmoded, Fortunato. Father, you once told me that honor was something born inside of you, and without honor, a Falcone must die. And so it is, my son. <laughs> You're a sly one, Fortunato. But you don't fool me. You wear your honor on your sleeve, not in your heart as your father does. Oh, enough of this nonsense, Gamba. As you wish, Matteo. I just dropped in to warn you, all of you. If you should see Giannetto, 
turn him into the proper authority. Of course, Cousin Gamba. Good day, Cousin. Good day, Cousin Gamba. Thank you for the warning. Maria. Maria. I have the horses hitched. Hurry, woman. I'll be right down, Mattel. Oh, stop that foolishness, son. But I like to play the mouth organ, Father. Play then, son. Play. Father? Yes. Father, if I should see Uncle Janetto, what should I do? Do, son? Follow the dictates of your conscience. A Falcone cannot go wrong. Have you loaded the wagon, Mattel? Yes, Maria. All ready. Waiting for you. Very well. Let's be off. Standing here wasting sunshine on chatter. Be sure and mind the house for tonight. I'll mind it well, Mother. And don't fall asleep playing that mouth organ on that haystack over there. I won't go near the haystack all day. And feed the cat and her kittens at noon. Yes, Mother. Help me up on the wagon, Mateo. Yes. <laughs> uh, there you are, my dear. I'll be a good boy, Fortunato. We will be back this evening. Goodbye, Father. Get up. Come. Oh, oh, oh. It's the horse here, Maria. I will, Matteo. Hey. Huh? Hey, Who is it? Who is calling Matteo? <gasps> Genetto. Don't go near him, Matteo. Are you crazy, woman? My own brother. But you're in danger of your own life, Matteo. Matteo, Maria. Stay here, Maria. I will take care of this alone. I always think they know more than a woman who works luck. I've been waiting here for you ever since dawn, Matteo. Have you, brother? Yes, God help me. Matteo, you've heard the news by now. Huh? The whole countryside has heard. I'm innocent. So help me. There's a plot against me. A plot? But why? By whom? Oh, you ask me who. Gamba, of course. He wants my farm. He wants to be in direct descent to the Falcone lands. And so he planned the scheme so cleverly, so cleverly. Rastano's wife, Lorna, actually believes I killed Rastano. Gamba. Yes, that could very well be. Uh, that Gamba's clever, Matteo. Clever as a fox. But why did you not surrender to the authorities? Gamba has a warrant for you now. To shoot you at oh, sight. Surrender. With Gamba politically influential in town, fine chance I'd have. Isn't there any way to prove your innocence? No, I don't know. I haven't had time to think. You, you do believe me, Matteo, don't of you? Of course, Janetto. of course. Well, what will I do? Where will I go? The whole countryside is awake, looking for you. You will have to risk going back to my farm. Yes, but your son... Fortunato is a Falcone. Ah, Fortunato. Sly, Matteo. Ah, you do not understand the boy. Go back to the farm, but go slowly and carefully. The boy will hide you until we return. Uh, I don't trust him, Matteo. It is the only way, Janetto. It is the only way. If I return with you now, somebody is sure to see us. And Gamba and his crew will be on you like a... Like a swarm of bees. Yes, of course, brother. You're quite right. Until evening, then, Matteo. Until evening, Jeanette. Fortunato. Oh, hello, Uncle Janetto. I've been expecting you. I've been betting with myself about how long it would be before you appeared. Fortunato. Hide me quickly before somebody sees me. Hide you? Now, isn't that against the law, Uncle Janetto? You wouldn't want a bambino like me to break the law. Look, Fortunato, your father, he trusts you. He sent me here to see you. Your father trusted you, Uncle, and you became a murderer. You are a disgrace to the name of Falcone. The pot calling me Kettle Black? Will you hide me, Fortunato? Fortunato, did you hear me? I heard you. I'm thinking it over. Hiding you means I'll run an awful risk, Uncle. I wonder if it's worth it. Worth it? Your own kinfolk. The neighbors are searching for me. They have been all morning. If your father hears of this, Fortunato... Maybe he'll never hear of it. That is, if you were to make me an offer, a, a good business deal. A good business deal. I'll offer you five francs. Five francs? You don't value your life very much, Uncle Janetto. Twenty francs, Fortunato. That's all I have. Come along, all of you. We will search the place. Fortunato, please, please. The neighbors are coming closer. Please, Fortunato, you can't turn me down now. Twenty francs. Not worth it. Look, 
Look, I have one. I have 100 Here, franc note for Tanata. 100 francs? Yes, that's all I have. Give it to me. Here, here, here you are. You, you... Quietly, Uncle. Over here to the haystack. Haystack? Crawl in quickly. Yes, yes, of course. I'll replace Mrs. Cat and her kitten right on top of you. Hurry. There. Where am I hidden? Over here, that's right, Am I hidden? On the side of the house. Now for Mrs. Cat. Mm. There you are. Right on top of him like a good cat. There. It looks as if it were never disturbed. Are you comfortable, Uncle Janetto? Perfectly. Come on. Come on, look. Look at these footprints. The footprints of a man with a spiked boot. You're right. And only one man in these parts wears a spiked boot. Who's that? That's Janetto. Follow me, neighbors. We'll find the boy Fortunato and get the truth out of him. Follow me. better lie down next to Mr. Cat, eh, Uncle Janetto? I'll look more comfortable at me. Shall I play a little music to entertain you? Fortunato! Uh, you deserve a little music for your hundred francs, eh, Uncle? Shh, shh, you're a fool. They'll hear you. Hear you? Of course they'll hear me. I want them to. Uh, don't you want them to hear me, Uncle Ginetto? Uh, don't you? Shame on you, Matteo. Sending Janetto back to your home. You do not realize what you're doing. Tend to your work, Maria. Let us not have any more discussion about Janetto. Discussion? Oh, you fool, you fool. You do not realize what the consequences of this might be. If Janetto is caught, we'll be condemned with him. Not if we can prove his innocence. Innocence, indeed. I wouldn't put murder past Janetto. I wouldn't put anything past him. He's a lazy, good-for-nothing dreamer. That's what he is, Matteo. Never done an honest day's work. You don't understand him, Maria. He's an idealist. We need more people like him in the world. Idealist, is he? Idealist. Rather than turn in that lazy good-for-nothing, you endanger your own poor child. What will happen to Fortunato if Janetto is found? What will happen then, my husband? Fortunato is a smart boy. Janetto will not be found. I tell you, Matteo, I will not stand for it. What do you intend to do, Maria? Turn Janetto in myself. I wouldn't try that, Maria, my dear. You might force me to do something I would be sorry for. Mateo, you, 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 a woman you, without honor cannot be my wife. Honor. Honor. You believe in honor before your own safety. I believe in honor above all things, Maria. Do you understand? Yes, Mateo. Then back to work. Work until the sun is down. And pretend that today is just another day. Come down from that haystack. You don't get nothing from the boy, Gamba. He's right, Gamba. Well, I'll not have this child make a fool of me, neighbors. I do not have to do what God has done already, Cousin Gamba. <laughs> he has you there, Gamba. Cousin, come, come, don't frown. I swear to you upon my honor, I know nothing of my Uncle Janetto. Your honor, Fortunato? What honor? The same honor as yours, the Falcone honor. Or do you pride your own honor so little that you sneer at mine? And you sneer, uh, You three, over in the corner, search the farmhouse. Is this legal, Gamba? Answer, Gamba. Completely legal. Go ahead. Well, if Gamba says it, it must be all right. Oh, don't look in the closets. Our skeletons won't like it. So much trouble for one man, Gamba. If you'd talk, little cousin, there wouldn't be so much trouble. Oh. Perhaps there are too many people around, eh? I care nothing about people, since I don't know where Janetto is. All of you, surround the house and leave me. I want a few words alone with this child. Will you be all right, alone here, Gamba? Quite all right. Well, come along, everybody. Come on. Uh, Gamba's wasting his time. He's wasting his time. Uh, shall I play a tune to amuse you, Cousin Gamba? No, thanks. I'll play anyway. Listen to me, Fortunato. Come down off that haystack. I want to talk a little business with you. You're a businessman, aren't you, Fortunato? Now, you and I have made deals before, son. I like you, Fortunato. And I'm sure you like me. I could offer you a lot of money, Fortunato. An awful lot of money. 
If you tell me where Janetto is hidden... Don't stand so close to me, cousin. You've been eating garlic. Stop playing that fool instrument. Fifty francs is a good price for Cunato. One hundred francs? One hundred francs. Even if I knew where my uncle is, I wouldn't sell for that. Uh, well, what would your price be? Shame, cousin, shame. Come, come. Two hundred francs? You haven't got two hundred francs on you. Then you know where Janetto is, huh? No, I was just curious to see two hundred francs. Very well. I haven't got two hundred francs on me, but I could get them. From who? Be careful, Fortunato. The rabbit can tease the fox just so long. Well, I can give you 100 francs and my gold watch. Careful, nephew. I have a stiletto on me which I might have to use. How about it, Fortunato? Your gold watch is worth nothing. It's worth 200 francs. Let's see you borrow 200 francs on it. I will. And then will you tell me where Janetto is? Who knows, cousin? Who knows? I'll be back in a few minutes. Fortunato, in a very few minutes. Fortunato, you wouldn't give me up. I'm teasing him, Uncle Janetto, just teasing him. He's such a fool. Don't worry. I'm not worried, Fortunato. My stiletto is just behind your back. I wouldn't try to move if I were you, little nephew. I am worried, Mateo, so worried. Tend to your work, Maria. The sun is almost down. Soon we can go home. Maria! Mateo! It's huh? Lorna Rizzano. Maria! Mateo! Have you seen Jeanette? Who? We, we, we do not tell you, Lorna. You who bring dishonor to our name. Oh, Maria, Maria, tell me, tell me now. You've seen Janetto. What interest is it of yours, Lorna? Gamba claims Janetto killed my husband, but it is a lie. Hmm? An awful lie. You've got to stop Gamba. What is this? What are you saying, Lorna? Listen, Matteo, early this morning... Yes? I found my husband, my poor darling, dead. The knife buried in his side. So I called Gamba, and he said the knife was Janetto. Gamba said it. Gamba. Yes, I was half crazy with grief, and I believed him. Until this afternoon, I took the knife to town to the store where it was bought. The storekeeper swears it belongs to Gamba. Are you sure? I'm positive. Matteo, I've been such a fool. We've got to work quickly now, quickly. Come along, Maria. Lorna. If anything has happened to Janetta, I'll never forgive myself. Climb into the wagon, quick, both of you. Leave the wheat alone, Maria. We will come back for it later. Oh. Here, I will help you up, Lorna. Oh. There. Now hurry, Matteo, hurry. Gamba will kill Janetta it... before he gets a chance to defend himself. Oh, there we are. Come on, Maria. Here, come on. Here. Here. I only pray God that for Janetta is safe. Here comes your cousin Gamba Fortunato. And he has 200 francs in his hands. Look at him. 200 francs? Well, Fortunato, here's the money. Let's see it, cousin Gamba. Ah, the money for the information. Tell me now, where is Janetto? First, allow me to examine the money. Very well. Here it is. And it looks real. It is real. Ah, 200 francs. That's a lot of money, eh, cousin? Yeah. Some men work all their life for that much money and never see it. But then I don't have to work all my life. The Falcones have land. My father says land is the only wealth in the world. Your father. Matteo Falcone says many things. Are you or aren't you going to tell me where Janetto is hidden? Oh, I might. Give me back the money, boy. You no more know where Janetto is hidden than I do. No. I'll keep the money. Janetto was hidden in the... Oh, he is... He is... I... Mama! Mama! Fortunato! 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 What happened to the father? It's Fortunato. He's dead. Look at him. Fortunato, dead. You're right. What happened to him? Happened? I... I don't know. He was about to tell me where Janetto was when, when he, he was struck dead. Heaven hey, yeah, watches us. Gamba, Gamba, this is heaven's answer to a child without honor. Death. 
Stop it! Stop all of you! This is a trick. A trick, I tell you. The boy died of natural causes. It was God. Natural causes. God struck him. Now listen to me, neighbors. Listen to me. God is responsible. You didn't see the boy die, but I did. I saw him, and there was nothing strange about it. Nothing. I got my sword, and it was natural and normal. Oh! What is this girl doing in my yard, Gamba? Mateo! Mateo, come here quickly! Mateo, for calling Watch me. Watch out for trouble now! Look out! He's got a pistol! You will not call to me so loudly, Cousin Gamba, when you hear what Lorna Rostano has to say to you. Lorna Rostano? Yes, Lorna yeah, Rostano. Lorna, 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 Lorna,